Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the five luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery, the baptism in the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell. and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. 
The Third Luminous Mystery The Proclamation of the Kingdom of God Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell. and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The Fourth Luminous Mystery, The Transfiguration our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The Fifth Luminous Mystery the institution of the Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell. and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that meditating upon these mysteries in the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O united hearts of Jesus and Mary, you are all grace, all mercy all love. Let my heart be joined to yours, so that my every need is present in your united hearts. Most especially, through my offering of these lighted candles, shed your grace upon this particular need. Help me to recognize and accept your loving will in my life. Holy and sacred wounds of the united hearts of Jesus and Mary, answer my prayer. Amen. Immaculate heart of Mary, meek and humble of hearts, make our hearts according to the heart of Jesus. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us.
Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Thursday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. Come to the table and turn His presence Feast with His teeth and celebrate His love. Come to the table and turn His presence This is the house of the Lord. The gates are open wide. Sinners and saints show up and fate. Oh, welcome to come inside. Come to the table and serve his presence. Please speak his giving and celebrate his love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if only you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me. For I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that, as a serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if one comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preach, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you receive, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted? Because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge. I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you. God knows I do. The Word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Alleluia, alleluia. You have received the spirit of adoption, a sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you ought to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Kahapon, pinagnilayan natin ang tungkol sa three pillars of Jewish piety and spirituality at inangkop natin ito sa New Testament spirituality and Christian living. Ngayon ay pinagpapatuloy natin ngayon ang, ang uh, pagninilay sa Sermon on the Mount and we focus on prayer. Last year, if I'm not mistaken, may nag-comment na dahil may sinabi ako na yung Our Father is a dangerous prayer. Hindi ko lang alam kung uh, nag-reply ako sa comment. Ngayon ako magre-reply. Kasi tinatanong niya kung bakit, why is the Our Father a dangerous prayer? Doon pa lang po sa invitation ng presider, mamaya, makikita na natin na talagang dangerous prayer ang ama namin. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Yung say, pinapalitan ko ng pray. Kasi yung Our Father is not a uh, formula to be recited alone. The Our Father ay balangkas yan, uh, pro forma, agenda of our prayer life, which is 24-7. Hindi lang po nire-recite ito. Ito po yung ating uh, pamamaraan ng ugnayan sa Diyos. At the Savior's command. Last Sunday, pinagnilaya natin tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos, paghahari ng Diyos, presensya ng Diyos. At the Savior's command, kung hindi tayo magpapasakop sa kaharian ng Diyos, which we explained last Sunday, a kingdom of love, peace, justice, and joy, not of uh, bullying and the violence and force, we will not be able to know that the Our Father is a dangerous prayer. Dapat pasakop muna tayo sa Diyos at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching. 
Kung hindi naman tayo magkakaroon ng ongoing formation, catechesis, knowing our faith, uh, Bible study, and so on and so forth, na medyo uh, bumaba ng kaunti dahil sa pandemya, dahil lahat ngayon ng formation programs ay uh, via the internet. With these two conditions, we will not know that the Our Father is a dangerous prayer. Kasi the presider already dares us eh. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. It is an invitation. I dare you to pray. Ano ba yung I dare you in Filipino? Hinahamon ko kayo. Dasalin nyo nga itong ama namin. And last year, I think we explained that uh, the first dangerous words of the Our Father is the Our Father, ama namin. Hindi sinasabing my father. When we really pray the Our Father, we consider ourselves brothers and sisters. At uh, no healing mass last month, I think, uh, we also focused on forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Ngayon naman, uh, tingnan natin kung bakit talaga highly dangerous prayer. Hindi lang dangerous. Highly dangerous prayer. Give us today our daily bread. Itong phrase na ito sa ama namin, pwede mong dasalin buong araw eh. Give us today our daily bread. It is dangerous because we are only asking for what we need now. Ang halimbawa na ito ay uh, nung nauso yung community pantry, nag-trending yung isang babae na kumuha ng tatlong tray ng itlog. Na trending yun eh. At dahil parang uh, binash siya sa internet, sinoli niya yung iba. Ang kanyang rason, bibigay, ibibigay ko naman to sa mga kapitbahay ko eh. Huh? When you take more than what you need, you are not praying the Our Father. Give us today our daily bread. Daily bread. Ngayon, siguro yung iba sa atin magsasabi, Father, hindi ba pwedeng give us today our weekly bread? Nakakapagod kasi yung pupunta ka lagi sa bakery. Araw-araw, araw-araw kang bibigay ng pantisan. O kaya yung mga ibang kinsenas ang sweldo, Father, hindi ba pwedeng give us today our monthly bread? Ang ibig sabihin ng daily bread, yung what you need now. Maraming halimbawa pa yan. Uh, yung mga nagpanic buying, Maraming pagkakataon na nagpapanic buying tayo. Hindi sila marunong magdasal ng Our Father. Kasi yung iba, nagdadasal ng Our Father hanggang panic lang, walang buying, walang pambili. Wala silang pambili, kaya puro panic lang, walang buying. O so, sige, yung mga nagpanic buying nung araw, o ano ngayon nangyari? Nag-expire. So, si sobrang dami. Napanis. Hindi na magamit dahil sobra-sobra. At ang isa pang halimbawa niyan ay yung mga rich countries nag-hoard ng vaccine. Na-realize nila kung vaccinated ang kanilang bansa, pero yung mga poor countries ay hindi vaccinated. Yung virus ay uh, magkakaroon ng mutation na balang araw, hindi na gagana yung vaccine sa kanilang bansa. At ka- wala, bali wala rin yung vaccination nila dahil si some other countries are not vaccinated. So ngayon, anong ginawa nila? They are donating to the poor countries vaccines. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we pray the Our Father, it is very important that uh, we know that it is dangerous. Dito lang, uh, give us today our daily bread. Ipagdasal natin uh, sana sa pamamagitan ng uh, ating pagninilay. Ngayon ay Lumalim pa ang ating uh, pagdarasal ng Ama namin. Give us today our daily bread. We trust in the Lord that He will always share with us His providential love.
Christ has told us that we can call God our Father. So with firm hope, we bring our petitions before Him. And so we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of the Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That amidst life's difficulties, we may not give up praying and never give in to temptations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may encounter God in their daily sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may meet the Lord face to face in his eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one family by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, especially those in need of healing and hope that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not, not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant a just and lasting peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, from this pandemic and all calamities, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom. kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles and friends, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the gift of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above everything and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you were already present. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Do not allow me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata on COVID-19. Mahabagin at mapagmahal na Ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo, upang hilingin ang iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng mga buhay. Tunghayan mo kami ng may pagmamahal at ipagadya kami ng iyong mapaghilom na kamay mula sa takot sa kamatayan at karamdaman. Itaguyod mo kami sa pag-asa at patatagin sa pananampalataya. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang naatasan na tumuklas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Nagpapasalamat kami sa mga bakulang na isulong sa patnubay ng iyong mga kamay. Pagpalain mo ang aming mga pagsisikap na mawakasan ng mga bakuna ang pandemya sa aming bayan. Patnubayan mo ang mga lumilingap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga 
ay malaki pa ng husay at malasakit. Pagkalooban mo sila ng kalusugan sa isip at katawan, katatagan sa kanilang paninindigang maglingkod, at ipagsanggalang sa karamdaman. Itinataas namin ang mga nagdurusa, makamtanawa nila ang mabuting kalusugan, lingapin mo rin ang mga kumakalinga sa kanila. Pagkamitin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga pumanaw na. Pagkalooban mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Pukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan. Sa pagdamay at malasakit namin sa bawat isa, malampasan nawa namin ang krisis na ito at lumago sa kabanalan at pagbabalik loob sa iyo. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamagitan ni Heso Kristo na nabubuhay at nagaharing kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo. Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Dumudulog kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming mga kahilingan sa aming pangangailangan at ipagadya mo kami sa lahat ng kasamaan, malwalhati at pinagpalang birhen. Amen. Mahal na birhen mapagpagaling sa may sakit, ipanalangin mo kami. San Jose, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Calungsod, ipanalangin mo kami. San Padre Pio, ipanalangin mo kami. Parish Announcements Two hearts that beat as one, offer your lighted candles in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary for the month of June. You may now request for a three-day, nine-day, or one-month candle to be lighted during Mass for your intentions, and your name will be printed on the glass. Please contact our parish office for more details. We are inviting all artists to showcase their artworks in our new project entitled Art Reflections for St. Padre Pio. Express your love, gratitude, petition, and devotion to St. Padre Pio through your artistic talents. It may be traditional art, digital art, or anime for kids, or in whatever medium that you may want to express your reflection to St. Padre Pio. More details are posted in our Facebook page. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and bring with you God's love and providential care. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Novena Prayer to St. Joseph For the Family In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God chose St. Joseph to be the foster father of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and to be the chaste spouse of Mary, our Mother Most High. With his intercession, we pray that we would be reminded of our almighty altruistic love, fraternal protection, and guidance. Let us also lift to St. Joseph, through Jesus Christ, all the families in our community, all the workers and laborers, all those who are suffering and wailing from critical illnesses and the dying. Let us also include in our intention all the men, most especially all the fathers who stand as pillars of every home. Opening Prayer Let us pray. Ever-loving and powerful God, you carefully chosen Saint Joseph, to be the caring husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your only Son, Jesus Christ. 
as we pay honor on him as our patron saint, make us feel worthy as he brings to you all our prayer petitions through Jesus Christ, your Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as the members of one body, you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayers of the Faithful O God, through the intercession of Saint Joseph, we humbly implore to you our personal needs and desires. Along with this, grant us a heart as chaste as Saint Joseph, so that like him, we may wholeheartedly respond to your call. Lord, listen to our prayer. For all Catholics, may you lead them to live and practice the teaching of the Church that will liberate and promote unity, peace, and justice. Lord, listen to our prayer. For our government and government officials, cultivate their heart to true service, putting the welfare of others and neglecting personal interest. Lord, listen to our prayer. For all the youth, bestow upon them the eyes and heart that see the needs and issues of the society, empower their voice for servant leadership, and do not lead them to go astray from the path you plan for them. Lord, listen to our prayer. For all those suffering and wailing from critical illnesses and their endurance of pain and suffering, may they feel that they belong to your chosen ones and realize that Christ is always with them in sacrifice for humanity. Lord, listen to our prayer. For our special intentions, let us all together pray for the family. Almighty Father, in your own accord, you made the family the firm and strongest institution of the society. Take a look at our families as we emulate the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph which you have given us the exemplary model of ideal family. In imitation of true obedience to you of the Holy Family, we pray that you shower us with eternal happiness and abundance through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In silence of our hearts, let us keep in mind and lift up to Heavenly Father 
our own families and our homes. Through the intercession of our patron saint, Saint Joseph, we trust you, O God, that all our prayer petitions will be granted according to your will. Litany to Saint Joseph, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, Pray for us. Joseph, most just. Pray for us. Joseph, most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph, most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph, most strong. Pray for us. Joseph, most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph, most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household. And prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, in your ineffable providence, you were pleased to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Devotion to Saint Joseph. O oh, dear Saint Joseph, our patron, in your prayers and consolations, we offer you our community. We plead unto your merciful heart to show us your love and compassion, as you have shown your affliction to your people. We entrust to you, O Saint Joseph, our patron, our servant leaders. By your example, we teach them to become conscientious and unbiased, who are able to sacrifice their personal interests for the welfare of the people they serve. We entrust to you, O Saint Joseph, our patron, all the fathers of every home. May the pure and unconditional love you have for your spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and your Son, Jesus Christ, 
resembles upon them. May they become strong support of every home. We entrust to you, O Saint Joseph, our patron, all our workers and laborers. Through their sweat and blood shed, you bring into our own eyes the dignity and sanctification of their hard work. May you allow us to see that through hard labor, we manifest love and service to God, to our families, and to our neighbors. We entrust to you, O Saint Joseph, our patron, all the sick and the dying. Just as you have been comforted by the sweet Blessed Virgin Mary and Jesus in your illness and last moments of your life, may you also invite them to consider the Holy Family as the source of their comfort and encouragement of our brothers and sisters. We entrust to you, O Saint Joseph, our patron, our community. It is you, O God, who want us to institute a community according to your own will, a community where there is love and peace, justice and forgiveness. Because of this, we are confident that with your divine assistance, all our petitions will be granted. Help us to be sensitive to the needs of our brothers and sisters and make us generous to address their inevitability. Do not let us fall into the temptation of envy and retribution. These do not only regress a harmonious relationship, but also disgust our community. Instead, help us to be sympathetic and merciful, who are willing to sacrifice and conceal our hurtful will. Dear Saint Joseph, we beg you to ask from Jesus to grant us a pure and authentic heart that does not wait for solace in return. And then, at the last moment of our lives, when we are lying in our deathbed, we appeal unto you to ask the Blessed Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ to accompany us so that you will become our source of relief and strength to deal with God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.